What's good YouTube? It's Fern here, and I want to do something special today. Um, so this is a normal video format that I tend to do, but after the recent event that happens with Nintendo and the Directs, I wanted to try something different, right? So today I have someone special, uh, a special guest with me. His name is Nero. Nero, how you doing? Uh, hey, what's up? I'm doing fine. So, so Nero's a friend of mine that I knew that I've known on Twitter for a good while, and he, I just recently, we recently watched the direct, or we watched it when it came out, and we were, we were fucking blown away with what they were showing away, especially specifically with the Xenoblade uh, 2 representation that Smash got. Nero, Nero, I wanted to ask you, right? What are, what are you, what was your thoughts on this thing? Ooh, my thoughts on this thing. Oh my god, where do I even begin? Pyra and Mithras like has become like one of my favorite like characters of all time in video games. Steel Blade Chronicles 2 has become one, if not like top three of my favorite games of all time. I genuinely love this series. I started like, actually Steel Blade 2 was my first game on the whole franchise, but like Steel Blade 2 just made such a such an amazing impact on me and Pyramithra also did. And I've been desiring this character ever since like Ultimate was announced. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel. Xenoblade Two yeah. was was actually, in fact, my first Xenoblade, uh, my first Xenoblade oh. game. Oh, me too. Mine the, too. Mine. The funny thing is for me, I I think I told you before that I bought this game blind. I bought this game blind, without mm -hmm. knowing jack shit about yeah. anything Xenoblade. I only bought it because people were super excited about it. So I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm being left out. So I just got it right there. And <laughs> to my surprise, it became one of my favorite games on the Switch. If Smash has not come out yet, Xenoblade Two would be my my all time favorite game on the Switch. Honestly. So, I feel where you're coming from, yeah. Xenoblade 2 such a, struck a special chord with me that... Because mm -hmm. I, I have not felt that type of way with a game. It's such a long-ass time. And after I after I finished Xenoblade 2, I don't know what to say, bro. That game just did something to me that I fucking loved it. If For all of you that are watching, right? If you have a Switch, definitely go check out Xenoblade 2. I will say it's a bit... It's a little... It's a bit hard to get into because I know that the... I will say that the game doesn't do a good job explaining the mechanics of the game, specifically with the, the combat. Because I know the, I know a lot of People can get confused with the combat because the tutorials don't even do a good job at explaining that either. Combat. I have like another friend, the friend, a friend of mine that introduced me to this, actually the game that made me buy it. He actually took its time to teach me how the thing worked, like how the battle system worked, because I was still so lost, like hours and hours with the game. Like, yeah, definitely. At least you had someone to explain to you the fucking game. I didn't. <laughs> I had to find shit on my own. But oh, yeah. Xenoblade 2. As peep, as obviously you guys can see, Xenoblade 2 definitely means something to us. It's a great game. And uh, to see Nintendo reveal, we were extremely excited and happy that they brought these characters that we've been asking for so long, patiently waiting. Mm. Our patience was paid off by for them finally getting into the game. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings with the them introducing the character because like, oh, it's just another tip, another anime sword fighter. And I'm a bit real with you, Chief. We got more brawlers in this game than anything. So why, why aren't y'all complaining about that? The amount of characters we have like with stores well that's another topic right mm -hmm. like it's not even it's just like 20 out of like 80 characters it's not that much yeah and someone like someone actually did, i'm not sure if you saw the tweet but someone actually did the math on how many like what's the percentage of how many sword characters are in the game compared to like projectile and other brawlers i don't mind the character having a sword at all it's what they could do with it i feel like they did buy lift pretty well but of, of course you of course you know smash fans smash fans are gonna complain about every little fucking thing yes. in the game now that we're on that right i want to talk to you about the move set right so judging from the trailer and from what they were showing i was thinking how both pyro and myth are gonna work mithra being a fat the fast one but her attacks are slightly weaker Pyra is a, like a slower movement one, but she hits a lot harder. Yeah, so how they... no, it definitely seems like that. There's like a weird portion of the trailer where it seems like Mithra's gonna be like the more lighter, like but a uh, weaker hit, while Pyra's gonna be uh, giving the strong punches with, with his fire, right? Mm -hmm. And it's quite ironic when you put it in that context when in the main game actually Mithra is the one that's supposed to be like the strongest heart. Yeah, that's, you know? that's the funny, that's the weird ironic thing. It's the other way around. <laughs> Yeah, it's all the way around what it seems to be in Smash. I feel like, I think this is like the second stance, a uh, quote unquote stance character in the game, because isn't the first one technically like Pokemon Trainer? I mean, technically, yeah, in this game at least, if not, we're not like talking about Melee and Brawl with so much. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you this, right? Pyra's gonna be the harder hitting one. What I think, right? Her, their Smash attacks, do you think they're gonna be different between either of them uh i don't know if like in actual animation per se i definitely can feel like the the damage output that they're gonna get is gonna be uh extremely different if we're going with the same theory that myth is gonna be more lined attack based. we're gonna bring this up later uh when we talk about more on the moveset but i think they're gonna remain the same moveset 
uh, in based on like uh, tilts, uh, air game, and smash attacks, while the specials could be changed. Yeah, that's what I think so too. I feel like their specials are gonna be different depending the two. You know me, Sword Fighter, where one yeah, of his specials he comes up and then comes back down. Yeah. I feel I that to me that looks like Pyro's. That could be Pyro's potential upbe. I was just analyzing the trailer a bit before we started recording. Prominence Revolt, the one that it seems like the sword fighter move, it seems like it's gonna be the upbe, right? Mm -hmm. Because we've seen like a lot of characters like have that sort of upbe mechanic, like sword fighter. So it, it should be like far that far fetched to assume that's gonna be. It. Mm -hmm, I see, I see. For her, it's most likely her up. For Pyrus up, is most likely to be Prominence Revolt, and I feel like Mithras is gonna be what she called it, uh, Chroma Dust. Chroma Dust. Believe it or not, I yeah. didn't even know that was a move until Torna. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's only a move that appears on Torna's moves. Besides her up, I feel like their side beats are actually gonna be a lot. Uh, obviously, all their specials are gonna be different. All and the specials are gonna be different. So for Pyrus side B, her what is it called? Uh, Blazing, Blazing End. End. Yeah, Blazing End. Blazing End. I feel like, yeah, definitely it's going to be Blazing End, and Mithra's and side B is going to be, what's it called, Photon Edge? Uh, Photon Edge, indeed, yep. When you put, uh, when you actually input Blazing End, which is going to be the side B, you can actually move Pyra for a bit at the last second before you retrieve the sword. Mm -hmm. So, you get exposed a bit in that second. I don't know how that's going to work, or it seems. Imagine, because to me it looks like that could be a similar mechanic to King K. Rule's crown, where you mm -hmm. have to go get the sword in order to use it again i guess but for pi yeah. i feel like pyro is gonna be different because she needs the sword to fight imagine like imagine there's an entire move set of pyro just fighting without the sword bro i'm gonna tell you right now she about to beat people's asses with just her fists i'm gonna throw yes, the sword sir. away and just beat people's asses with just her hands <laughs> <laughs> if she could fight without her sword that's actually be fucking sick i don't know how that i don't know how they're gonna incorporate that they most likely won't I don't think it's gonna be, this is, but it's funny to think about. What What do you think uh, her neutral B could be? Using Flame Nova is like, you know, like a type, I don't want to like compare it too much, but it looks like Incineroar's neutral B. And mm -hmm. even makes a circle around her to hit the opponents. I think that's gonna be uh, Flame Nova, the neutral B. While in Mithra's case, I think it's gonna be the Lightning Buster, which just do a lot of slashes, mm -hmm. but you don't move. You just stay in place when you do a lot of slashes, you're gonna be able to charge them. Mm -hmm. The thing is, right, uh, for Mithra's uh, uh, Lightning Buster, I like, uh, the sword looks like it has huge range. For Pyra's, um, whatchamacallit, Py Pyra's Flame Nova, I was thinking it's either her neutral B or her Charge Down Smash. So charge the reason, down smash. the thing is, right, I the, the, what I was thinking, this could go into, this could go into another thing when I think about the characters, that, about their gimmick. I feel like they're, um, they're gonna have a gimmick, their specials and their smash attacks get stronger. The more you do quote unquote auto uh, auto combos, with what, what, what co auto combos is just in obviously you know the mechanic in Xenoblade 2 where yeah. auto combos charge your arts to essentially mm -hmm. use your specials, and I feel like it's that mechanic's gonna be taken over to Smash where they're uh, instead of obviously just auto comboing, well they'll just attack if anyone's close. Instead, you'll charge your attacks by just doing normal attacks like jab, tilts, and aerial attacks, and probably grabs. Mm -hmm. Your you'll by, by the indicator of your sword getting bigger or like there's more uh indic there's an indication in your weapon essentially saying like how charged your weapon is because oh, you know what could be fine like some sort of meter like instead of like as a meter we have like next to the icon of fire we could have like the the number system of the specials right oh yeah that's right that would be so cool it's just like the more you actually use like your normal game uh fighting style the number just goes up that could mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I feel like. The the auto the their auto combo mechanic. I feel like they're gonna take it into this game. I I am actually like I'm gonna main them like so much because I don't have mm -hmm. a main in this movie. So Pyramid definitely is gonna be my set. Like bitch, what you talk about? You main Cloud. Hey, no, I don't. Mean cloud. As Cap. I, I just I just kind of rotate between like three characters. So I'm like mm -mm. quote unquote rotate. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. I see how it is. I see it. I see you with the move set out the way. I want to ask you about the stage. We're fighting on essentially Gramps' back. What We're do you think about it? We're fighting on Gramps' back, and you can have Rex Little House there exploring through the entirety of all the rest in the cloud scene. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want my honest opinion, I'm kind of disappointed actually, because I, I don't have like a specific stage or area in mind really, but I'm kind of disappointed because we already seen this kind of archetype of stages uh, since Joker, basically, and I'm getting tired of it. I'm not saying that I don't appreciate it. I mean, it looks great, but I'm kind of tired, and it seems like it's not gonna be like some sort of like uh, some sort of hazard or like the stage and 
and it has like background characters like you know like in memento has you got a new mod you got an interior stage mm -hmm. i don't know what they're gonna show on the stage because i remember like yeah they have the background characters and they also have the titan you're actually gonna be seeing the titans just go yeah. roaming around as you go around the cloud sea. I can't really say much for the stage because I don't know because we haven't seen enough of it. Imagine they do a complete 180 and you're comp you're you're exploring Allrest, but you Grams eventually goes to the like Elysium, the World Tree. I can't really no, say much about the stage because I haven't seen enough. Something I actually wanted to uh, tell you about this shit, right? So yeah. about uh, Rex's stage. Imagine if what? like Gramps actually goes underwater. I know he actually doesn't, Ooh. but imagine he just goes underwater. And you just gave me an amazing idea, but that's gonna be like kind of spoiling me. Like maybe we can go like underwater and we reach more of them. Oh yeah, Moritha, that'd be sick. <laughs> That's the beginning of chapter 8. So, I don't know if that's like very spoilish territory. It's just gonna stay there on the cloud sea. Mm -hmm. While we have like a day and night uh, cycle rotation well, with, the, with the titans in the background. I'm actually hoping I that ho the stage actually has a, a day and night cycle. It will. It definitely looks like some sort of day and night cycle. It's just they never show night. So yeah, there's nothing we can say much about the stage because they haven't showed us enough about it. But yeah. We can say much. I just hope it is not just that simple. That's it. Because I'm getting to me. The stage looks like a combination of hero and jokers. With hero, you're going around like the world, and joker with the um with the characters in the background with references. I feel like that's that's Same. essentially uh Gramps's back. Does this stage have even have a name? At least I, yet. I, I think if I gotta give it a name, it's gonna be Aris. Probably <laughs> yeah, it's probably just gonna be called All Rest or the uh yeah. the Cloud Sea. So with the stage out the way, I wanna ask you. We know that Xenoblade music fucking slaps. Xenoblade music is amazing. So we think they're gonna introduce at l around eight to ten songs, probably with two or three arrangements in them, right? Yeah. So what songs that you think they're gonna add into the game? Well, not counting the ones that we've seen in the trailer already, which is Counterattack. Uh, one of my favorite tracks actually is gonna be Driver Versus. It's the one. It's rarely one that shows around, but it's when you fight the drivers are in the wild in the crank too, which is a slap, and I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. And another one that I have to say, uh, probably just, it's gonna be like pretty basic, but I think like Monster Surprise You, which is a unique monster encounter, mm -hmm. it can like definitely just work because it's just like a battle theme. Mm -hmm. I see it, I see it. To me, what songs that I personally want in the most is definitely a uh, Death March with Torna. Yeah. That, I, I remember when I first heard it, I, th I think when you, when you first hear it, is it when, you know, it's not when you fight Melos on the ship, it's when you fight uh, Ak Akos I think and them. Fight Akos. Yeah, Akos fight and them. Right? Uh, yeah, like towards the end of chapter 3, I believe. To me, I call it the Torn of Boss theme. That song has to be my favorite song in the whole, and when it comes to battling in Xenoblade mm -hmm. 2, that song is incredible. And another song that I'm hoping that they add. <laughs> I know you can like this one is the bringer of chaos from Zeke. Oh my god, yes. So for me, right? So with yeah. the, with those two songs, my whole list, I, I know for a fact we're gonna have a lot of similarities to the music that we'd want in the game. I know this is gonna be random as fuck, but I remember when I showed you my new home screen, and believe it or mm -hmm. not, you have the same exact one as I do. I'm gonna tell you right now, people who are watching this video, he copied me. No 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 no, no. he copied me. I added first. Cap. That's pure cap, bro. Yeah, no cap. I follow the artist in the and it's amazing. Shut up. It's cap. Stray no cap, cap, bro. <laughs> no cap. But like yeah. overall, Xenoblade music is great. If y'all have not listened to it, y'all are missing out. But with our thoughts on the music, right? I wanna ask yeah. you. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. What are the alts that you think the characters are gonna have? Ooh, the alternate costumes is something that I very, very thought about. You have like some of the alternate costumes that we already have in the game, right? The Scribal Pyra outfit, the Carbon Mithra outfit with the purple hair. Right? Mm -hmm. I thought they were could do that that easy route, right? But recently, actually I think it was a few hours ago, that uh, Mr. Sakurai himself released a screenshot of what it seems to be uh, the Mithra out the uh, Mithra alternate costume that it resembles a lot to Poppy Cutie Pies power color mm -hmm. right this brings a new question to my to the table is it gonna be focused on driver and blade mm -hmm. or i think it could be like it could be references to different rare blades that you can obtain in the game because poppy cutie pie is not one that you get automatically mm -hmm. yeah it's an act it's a side quest that you actually have to do to get it what if we get like different rare blade color palettes right we can have mithra here looking like Zenobia, right or we have pyra here looking like shiva 
Mm -hmm. Which I think it could be pretty cool. I, I have a feeling, right? One of Metro's color all is gonna be malos. <laughs> Oh, actually, you that doesn't sound too far fetched. Mithra has to have an alt of Malos since they're so intertwined with the game. How I think the how they would do the alts right is I feel like they do the alt on uh, depending on the characters, the individual characters that they met at the end their time, like Pyra, Esme, Rex, uh, Nia, Zeke, and them. He's they essentially he, yeah. she met the party Pyre. while Mithra uh, will probably have alts with well, one of them always being Poppy Cutie Pie. I feel like Mithra could have an uh, the alts from the people she met in Torna because that's uh, that's her that side. So ima imagine Mithra or Pyra with a Jin alt. That's the thing. We can have like Pyra's uh, Slora and Mithra's Jin. Bro, my I PFP is Jin for fuck's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> One more all that I want to bring about because I was talking about the rare ways, right? And we could actually have some representation with Sino Saga, right? I was thinking mm. we could have like Pyra I know. representing. Uh, I know where you're going with this. Yep, well, Cosmos represent representing Cosmos and Telos definitely because they're they're obviously from the earlier versions of the Xeno series. Quite literally, been everywhere. It's just that she's she's just either a cameo or like a hidden appearance or character in the game. And Cosmos is kind of. Seeing like even if you don't want to, and a lot of like uh, monoliths of promotional art, Cosmos seem like that face of monoliths. But like with the alts and whatnot, I'm gonna say this right now, right? I'm gonna say this right now. People are asking as much as I want to, but I know for a fact they're not. They're gonna add their uh, their swimsuits. So I I had my water. I know I'm a little thirsty, but hear me out. I know they're not gonna add them into the fucking game. <laughs> they're not going to at all. If they had to censor. Fire and Mithra already as they are. I don't think they could even bother like making us in this swimsuit. Yeah, like they had to censor the. Uh, they gave Pyra leggings, even though she already yeah, has leggings. I think it was a bit unnecessary to just like censor it, but I understand. While Mithra, on the other case, yeah, I can. Their their censorship, I guess, is understandable. But people asking for the swimsuit, bro. To they, much. they they had to censor the original attire. What, what makes you think they're gonna give him their swimsuits? But we already know Sakurai is Sakurai is a man of culture, bro. They <laughs> Sakurai is a man of culture, bro. They gave them <laughs> physics. They gave <laughs> them. Oh, they gave them physics. You seen them physics? Ooh. <laughs> but, Anyways, but with the alt, <laughs> the alt society. Here's the killjoy part that I love. Ooh, I can't wait for this one. The me what? costumes. Oh my god. So, I feel like we're gonna get at least two or three me costumes from Xenoblade 2, right? One costume I'm hoping they add is Jin's whole attire with the mask and his outfit. Oh, yes, please. We can probably get Zeke? Uh, Either we Ze can have like some sort of Tora representation. Mm -hmm. Imagine <laughs> a Tora outfit, what the fuck? Tora has big penis now! Which one, Poppy or Poppy Cutie? No. No, puppy normal. Oh, just normal puppy. That'd yeah, be cute. Puppy, be as like normal. a like as a me gunner. I think it fits. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I could see it. I could me see gunner it. Me gunner or even me fighter and me brawler. Besides the Xenoblade Two ones that they can cover, I want to know who do you think will be the special guest me costume this time around? Oh, Cause oh, yeah, because we always have like a special guest. I'm hoping two choices. Maybe one will be Hall Knight. The night we can get like the night. I think that would be pretty fun. Mhm. Mm or something like Celeste. Mhm. Mm I, cool. I know people are gonna kill me for this, but Sora as a me costume. <laughs> That's it. That's oh it. Oh my god. That's it. God. That's I'm it. gonna kill you. <laughs> I already I already have Pyro I already have Miles. I already have Joker and I have Sephiroth. I really cannot ask for more. Presentation, right? Like actually like thinking about it, it'll be pretty nice. But I'll still be pretty salty. <laughs> I know you're gonna be pretty salty. That's why I brought and it I up. I hate you for you bringing it up again. <laughs> That's exactly I why. Because I completely forgot about it. <laughs> I was like, but I, I was like, bet. I bet he's gonna forget it. Let me just say, Sora as a me sword fighter. I'm gonna fucking. Play. I'm telling you right now, bro. About to happen uh, when Pyramid roll around. That me, co that me costume if presentation is gonna fucking be? happen. I'm gonna cosplay as fire. Don't you need to reach ten thousand followers for that? I'm. I just want excuses. I mean, what? <laughs> You heard, Anyways. you heard him here, bro. You no, heard him no, no, here. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The reason I want to say Sora as a me costume, right, is I don't even yeah. want him. I just want to yeah. see people get salty. I know you are. You want to <laughs> I want to see people. You I want to see, see me rage. I want to see you. I want to see the timeline. Maybe retro. <laughs> oh, retro. Retro's going to be so mad. <laughs> I know retro's going to be fucking angry. Oh, he's going to be fucking done. He'll, he'll be, I can imagine him just like... 
turning off the headphones and just like mm. if sora makes it to smash as a me costume i feel like that's gonna be the biggest thing to come out that fucking uh out of that presentation but it'll definitely be it'll definitely like burn twitter to the ground like, oh my god you're gonna see me there at the top of the comments of sora trending and i'm gonna be like fuck you I'm a, yeah i'm gonna I'm a retweet it if 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 sora does come out and and you tweet at me <laughs> that I spoke yeah. into existence. I'm gonna retweet it, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna cry so bad. <laughs> but I can understand if he doesn't make it. But as a B fighter, I mean, why? It's gonna come as a sword fighter. Just, I'm telling you. Just, just, I'm, shut. But yeah, but with. All that being said, thank you so much, Nero, for coming through. I really appreciate uh, you. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you, man, for inviting me to do mm -hmm. this uh, fun thing. So, let's just... We're just here to see, or let's hope that whatever we said here comes to fruition in the in the reveal on March 4th, I believe. Yeah, March 4th. The best I'm surprised it, it's coming out that early. I thought it was going to come out, like, mid-March. I thought it was going to be, like, mid-March, like, on the team. You know? Mm-hmm. But... Hey, the earlier the better, right? The earlier they show yeah. that, the earlier they show that Sora and Tubi is a me costume, then I'm set. You don't even have like any emotion to come back, you. So I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, they're coming. I I sense it. I could sniff please it. Don't, please don't finish. Don't let this man speak any more minutes, please. All I know is that Sora's coming in as a me costume, and when it does, don't bro, don't end it like this. I swear, <laughs> I'm done. Bye. I'm telling you. Thank I'm you so much for having me here.